hey guys so i wanted to make a video today um just pretty much showing how i am teaching my son spanish uh currently i am the only one in the household that speaks spanish so i felt a need to really like try my best to teach him how to speak spanish so this video is for you if you're the only one in the household speaking spanish you want to raise a bilingual kid you don't want to raise a general sabo kid okay we don't want to raise a general sabo kid we don't if i raise a general sabo kid if my son don't speak spanish when i go to dr do you know how much shit they're gonna be talking how much stuff they gonna be constantly? Ay, Dios mío, pero tú no le enseñas español, oye. Tú no le... No. No. I don't feel like hearing it because they would not let you live it down. Like, ay, pero tú le tienes que enseñar el próximo año cuando usted le venga. Ellos tienen que saber español. Not let you live it down. No, porque cuando ustedes vinieron aquí. Like, we're not letting you live it down. Um, you know, like... I know Spanish. I want my kids to know Spanish. My grandkids. I gotta, since, um, you know, I don't have my significant other that speaks Spanish, I have to make, I, have, I feel like I have to fight harder to make sure that he knows Spanish. So I try the best that I can. Um, one of the main things that I do, one of the main things to do is speak spanish <laughs> pretty simple speak spanish make sure that everything you say is in spanish so you know like in the beginning i was getting a little like i felt a little weird i felt like when i would be around day's parents or like his side of the family that only speaks english i needed to switch it to english but don't feel that way because I was switching it to English in the beginning like oh maybe I should just speak English so it's not weird or stuff like that like I've always hated when somebody's speaking another language or I'm in a room like you talking about me but um no they, they everybody should know that you're trying to teach him Spanish Spanish he's gonna like they're bound to learn English they're in the U.S. they're in if they're in an English speaking country they're bound to learn it in school it, it's it's gonna happen so you know your significant other speaks english it's gonna happen they're gonna learn english without you even trying you have to try to do the spanish you have to go out your way to teach them spanish so everything you say has to be spanish and i'm not gonna lie i'm not like i'm not the best at my spanish i'm not a journal sabo kid but Maybe I'm like a level, a level up, uh, two levels up. I can still survive if I'm a DR by myself. You know, I my mother only speaks Spanish. I, I know I know enough Spanish to have conversations with my mother, of course. But um, you know, my Spanish could always be better. But don't let that stop you, even if you you're not the best in Spanish. Everything you know, teach it to that kid. So number one, speak Spanish all the time. Anytime you speak to them, it's in Spanish. I'm not gonna lie, I am more comfortable speaking English. So when I do get mad, sometimes it is in English, but sometimes, you know, like if you end up doing the English, I would just go like right, a right after it was Spanish. Sometimes I'm so used to saying, good job, that I'll afterwards, maybe I'll be like, oh, buen trabajo. Like if I say it's in English, I'll try to follow it up with Spanish at least so that you know you still get that spanish in um the second thing that i try to do is um uh, if i have him if i end up having him on my ipad i have on the kids youtube what i have done is i manually pick the videos that he gets to watch so only the channels that I know speak Spanish. There are a lot of bilingual, um, a lot of bilingual YouTubers 
And at first, I mean, they a lot of them have come out now because I was even thinking about doing just a Spanish YouTube like for kids because every single one that I would see was bilingual. I'm like, my kid is going to learn English. My kid will learn English. I don't need the English part. I need Spanish. I need Spanish only. They, they're going to learn English. That's inevitable. So I, um, I only put videos on there that he's allowed to see in Spanish. The people that I know, um, Miss Nana, um, damn, I don't remember anybody right now. I don't know people by their names. Um, I know Miss Nana for one. I know these two, Telelingo. Those are two um, sisters. Um, there's these other ones. I, I'll probably link. I'll probably say it in the description below so that you guys could know which ones I'm talking about. But they were in there before. They actually st I started seeing some Spanish only ones after, and I'm pretty sure it's because everyone started to notice. Hey, this is all bilingual. We just need Spanish. So um, yeah. I, everything is in Spanish. Um, his educational games, I, if the language can be in Spanish, toggle that to Spanish. Everything is in Spanish. So if he is on my iPad, um, Spanish. He's going to stuff and it's all in Spanish. So right there, he's literally constantly listening to Spanish stuff, even on the iPad. If he's watching, um, Something else that I do is, of course, it kind of goes together. The iPad is in Spanish. We watch things together. If we are going to watch something, I try to make like the movies we watch in Spanish. Um, if we end up watching YouTube, I try and do it together. Um, not all the time. You get to watch YouTube together because you may need to cook. You may need to do something you, you wanna, um, I was gonna say in Spanish, you, you wanna entertain them with something. So, you know, if I put, put whatever on, it'll be in Spanish, the YouTube will be in Spanish. Plaza Sesamo, you know, uh, Sesame Street in Spanish. When I do have time, sometimes I may watch it with him and I will emphasize certain things. Cabeza, rojo. Oh, sí, ese es rojo. Like, ¿Dónde está la cabeza? Ese es la cabeza. Cabeza. Cuidado. Cuidado, sí. Cabeza. Las manos. ¿Dónde están las manos? Manos. Por la... I'll just pretty much just go over wh whoever, whatever they're saying and just emphasize it, make it a little fun, do little tickles here and there and, and stuff like that. Um, the next thing I've done, I've looked for the um, flashcards. I look for the flashcards that are in Spanish, Spanish. Um, I actually got a good one because I was looking for one that had letters, numbers, shapes, and maybe like a few words with pictures and stuff so he can learn like everyday things um, so that he, he knows what it means. So, you know, with the letters, um, He's gotten really good with his letters. He knows all his letters in Spanish, but what I would do is I'll scramble all the letters. Then I'll be like, ¿Dónde está A? ¿Dónde está P? ¿Dónde está J? ¿Dónde está Ingriega? Donde está P? P, P. P, P. 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 P.
Es lo mismo. ¿Dónde está? W. W. And he, he, like, completely loved it, like, to the point that when he would pick all his letters, he's crying so that he can do it again. Um, with the numbers, I'll do the same thing. Onata numero uno, onata numero tre. Um, with the pictures, I will show him, um, the fact that he doesn't know what everything is. When I show him something, I'll show him, like, vaso. Mira, esto un vaso. Like, I'll show him and then, um, say what it is. Say <laughs> Okay. Pa Pájaro. Tu, tu, tu. Sweet. Tu. sweet. Uh, Pescado. Uh, Huevo. Uh, Pato. Quack, 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 uh, quack, quack. Uh, Gato. Uh, meow. Meow. Uh, Carro. Carro. Mm. Good job. Leon. Ah. Um, and then get some books. Get some books that are in Spanish as well. When you read that bedtime story, Spanish. You're reading a Spanish book. We read our bedtime story. You know, he does have his English ones, of course. Like I said, Day does not know Spanish, so he does read to him sometimes too. So it has to be in Spanish. Um, so... That would, the bedtime stories in Spanish too. Picture books that show, you know, everyday objects in Spanish. So he starts knowing exactly what things are. Tito. China. No, Good job. Pica. Puba. But yeah, that's pretty much all I, all I do, all I can think about doing. I mean, like the most important thing, speak to them in Spanish only, all the time, every time, every single time you get a chance. If they say something in English or used to saying something in English, I'll say it in Spanish. I'll act like your mother that knows only Spanish. Because my mother only knows Spanish. How did I learn English? How do I know English even better than my Spanish when my mother only speaks Spanish? Like, you know, everything, everything she would say to me was only in Spanish. Act like that. Act like you know no English. You have That's how you have to act. Like, you know no English. And then, of course, my side of the family that knows Spanish is speaking to him in Spanish when they see him. But, um... Yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, we could do this, all right? You can do it. We not raising the Juno Sabo kids. Throw that in the garbage. Not my kid. I feel so embarrassed. I, I refuse. I refuse. Like, my son needs to be fluent. When I go to DR, he needs to be there and speaking and, and being fluent. So, yeah. Good luck, guys. If you have any questions, put it in the comments down below. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.